What's going on everyone? Welcome back to YGOPD or Yu-Gi-Oh! Professional Development and today I have something other than Rescue Ace. I know you've probably seen that quite a bit on the channel and I know I'm going to be showcasing that quite a bit in the future just for the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! 365 series. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and see that. We've already had the chance to pilot the deck at an OTS Trophy Tournament as well as a regional to kind of get our feet wet and back into it into the new 2023 season. We have a few other things coming up so keep an eye out for that. Um, today I am I'm showing something different. This is Makanko Kaiju or going second Makanko. This is a deck I've had on the back burner for a while. Shout out to my friend Will, who really kind of walked me through the deck. He just tears it up anytime he shows up. He plays this deck and just cleans up everyone. It cleans house. It's really, really good. Um, it made me really want to get the cards. I think Makanko is still a really cool engine that can see play in other things as well, but definitely just something really neat and different to try. Um, I like it. It's kind of a more of a go second build. Again, you don't have to think as much. It's more of an OTK variant with just how the Makankos work and how the equip spells deal damage and all that kind of stuff. But this is just my take on it. It's a little bit loose, but again, just wanted to show something different and something I've been kind of working on. And this is technically probably the last deck that got um, somewhat recent support in uh, Duelist Nexus as well. So I will do a formal shout out in my next video to all my new subs. I've not done that in quite a bit just because of the new series and getting stuff caught up um, as well as getting over some sickness from the regional last week. But nevertheless, I wanted to show all this to you. So with all that said, we'll go ahead and hop into the main deck and then just talk a little bit about the extra deck as well. Okay, starting with the main deck, um, you'll see a few different variants. I am personally a fan of Diviner as the best normal summon the deck can have. Also, the Makanko normals are pretty solid as well. You've seen builds with Hidden Armory. I'll show that on screen. And Lava Golem, those are cool, um, but the other way to do it is you just don't have a normal summon when you do it that way. With my luck, for whatever reason, even with playing very few Makanko monsters as you do, I still see them quite a bit, and I just couldn't get over the non-normal summon build, so I wanted to do the normal summon build, and Diviner is just like an insane card in that deck, has great synergy, works with Ohime to make different things like Beatrice, to dump whatever you want, or Synchro 9 into like Power Tool Braver Dragon, there's just a lot you can do with it, so... Uh, for the actual Makanko stuff, we are on three Ohime, the best amazing starter that deck can ask for. Really, really solid. Um, basically, you reveal itself. It's going to add and then discard a Makanko. It just gets everything rolling. It's just a really good starter. Um, and then the new one, we play one of our Ohime. Um, People have been back and forth on this. People said three at first and then one and then zero. I still think one is fine just to try. It's basically a free way to equip um, itself to something to help trigger your Makankos. They all get effects when something is equipped to them. So it's just another good searchable way to do that. For the Makanko summons, uh, I am maxing out on Hare here. Um, this is probably my favorite one. Some people max out on the trap one, but again, you're going second. You don't need that as much. This one, uh, basically gets you another Makanko spell when it's equipped with something. And then we just do one of each of the others, uh, one that searches the trap and then one that kind of helps play into the snatch steel combo. Um, so they're all really solid. But I think typically you're seeing five to six Makankos. Usually it's two, two, and two, or even two, two, and one, or like three of this, or three of this, two, and one. But uh, this one here, Nini, is usually the one you're only running one of. Uh, but again, you can mess with the ratios to however you want. But I just wanted the two best normal summons being Diviner and being uh, Hare. So those are kind of the two I've been using. For the actual Makanko spells, the best one, of course, the Arabisk. Uh, this, basically, you equip it to something, and then its effect is it bounces whatever it's equipped to back to the hand, then specials a Makanko from your deck and equips itself to that. So it basically summons a Makanko from your deck, then triggers it and allows you to, you know, trigger that effect to search or summon or whatever. Um, the main way you use this is typically with Kaijus. If they don't have interruption, you can just bounce something on their board for free, then great. But uh, typically, you're giving them a Kaiju and then doing that. And then afterwards, we are on two fire dance. This has come up at two a good bit, um, so I'm fine with it. This is just a really great card on activation to monster reborn a Makanko and then equip it to it. Uh, and then two of the Maya, Maya Wardashi, I forget how you say it, and one of the uh, Rondo Reflection, the Snatch Steel, and then the Banish from Grave for just more recovery. Uh, the deck just has um, a good bit of grind, uh, but not too much. Again, you are trying to just OTK as quickly as possible. And then just one of the Purification Dance, and then two of the Grand Ceremony. This is what you're using. Two Turbo Rot Ohime ignoring summoning conditions. We don't play the actual Ritual spell. Some builds play one, some builds play none. I'm opted 
connected to plane none it to me it's just kind of a brick and i don't really think i need it um, you, that's the only problem with this deck is you don't want to draw too many equips that don't do anything without your uh, makankos on board so that's kind of the risk that you run there with that um, and then lastly one spirit walk this is the new trap out of uh, Duelist Nexus. You need at least one trap in here. I think before it was more so rivalry than promise, uh, but this card is really, really solid. It just targets a face-up monster your opponent controls and then equips that monster to one of your Makanko monsters. So it's just another way to snatch steel and just has really unique spot removal in that way. Um, it says then when your Makankos leave the field, if it's equipped to you, um, it goes by game mechanic, not necessarily by card effect. So that's kind of really cool. But that's it for the Makanko engine for the uh, spells or consistency pieces that kind of round the rest of that out. Three Preparation of Rights. This just searches Ohime. And then three Pot of Prosperity. Uh, this is definitely not needed in the deck at all. Um, you can play anything else you want, truly. Uh, Extrav is also fine. Even not playing this and playing things like Durendal or the Infernoble stuff, I've actually been messing around with that. Uh, you could play Museum as a way to search Durendal, as a way to then search uh, Hare to then get your plays going that way too. So you have a lot of other options. I just figured I'd mention that as a decent budget alternative, Extrav, or just none at all. I really don't think this deck always needs it, but if you have them, you can go ahead and use it. So um, if you're that concerned or if you're like me and you randomly... For some reason own three prosperity but only own one herald of the arc light then i'm not going to play extra because you want to keep that in the extra deck so that's really about how you want to build your extra deck for those cards the rest of the deck is uh more uh board breaker hand trap defensive type non-engine stuff less consistency more just effects uh three ash this can be any hand trap of choice i think ash is still the most generic and probably one of the best hand traps right now to deal with the meta and with rogue um but you could play Anything else, the other good alternative I would suggest that I'll throw on screen is Winter Cherries is really solid. This deck, again, does not care about its extra deck except for maybe like one to five cards if you really want to get that specific. So you could have up to 10 plus slots to just put in one of every major card problem card that you have with the deck and then just banish them off cherries. But again, Ash is also fine if you don't feel like buying a bunch of random cherries targets, but I figured I would mention it. And then for the Kaijus, you can do any assortment. Um, if you're playing Slumber, you want to vary the names a bit more than what I'm doing. But I'm doing two of the Thunder King and two of the Jizakuru. Basically, just the two biggest ones. They're both 33. Because when the Makankos are equipped with something, they can't be targeted. They don't die by battle. And when you crash into something, your opponent is the one that takes the battle damage. So you basically are giving them a, a Kaiju, summoning two to three of the little Makankos, um, and then just crashing and, and just doing damage for game like that really quickly. Um, but again, you could play Slumber if you want. Um, there were a few things I added to keep this deck um, at 40, and, and Slumber was something I was comfortable with cutting since we're already playing four Kaijus for spot removal anyway. And then Talents is just the 40th card, and then Double Lightning Storm. This could be Duster, this could be Herald of the Abyss, it could be a Thrust, it could be whatever. But truly, these slots are all open to kind of whatever you want to do in terms of board breakers, in terms of hand traps. However you want to do it, this deck has a lot of room for non-engine, and you don't have to go as hard on the Makanko package and some of the consistency pieces I have too and just make more room for that but this deck just breaks boards <laughs> really easily and just cleans house really easily um, I'll talk about the extra deck I wanted to kind of leave this a little more open because like I said you could just do cherries targets you could do prosperity targets you could do extra targets um, there are very few extra deck slots that are truly that relevant to the deck um, I'll talk about those first um, the Infernoble Synchros are really, really solid. Emperor Charles is probably one of the, the better go-tos um, just because, again, it's a level 9 that helps you synchro and climb and do that kind of stuff really easily. Obviously, Roland and Oliver are also really solid picks you can do as well. Um, and then outside of that, there's not much other cards that are relevant. Um, Hero of the Arclight is obviously a given due to Diviner. You could also do a card like Elder Entity Entis as well. Um, and then the last card I'll mention is Power Tool Braver Dragon is just another option this works really well just because Herald of the um, Diviner of the Herald, sorry, dumps typically is going to dump a level four usually to make itself level six, whether it's Arclight or Entis, um, and then makes itself level six, sinking it off with any of the level threes to make a nine. And Power Tool Braver just basically gets you any equip spell you want from deck to hand. So that's just another option you could do. So there's a lot of freedom with the extra deck, and there's also a lot of freedom with the main deck. But I think it's a really cool engine. I think it's not explored a ton. It was a little bit with tier. I think it has the potential to be really great and come back. Um, it can be its own deck, but it's hard right now, I think, especially with going second strike 
strategies, but it's still really cool. And this was something I thought would be a good time to show if you're just like at a point where you're like, hey, I already got my invite or I'm not going to regionals yet, but I want to wait for a ban list. I need something random to play with what I got lying around. Maybe this is for you. So with all that said, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.